I'm here with George Edgar, a driver who is going for two classes this year, the Water Swift with its first appearance here for Kart Masters in 2022, and the IAMI Cadet racing his, of course, his O-plate, because you won the uh, IAMI O-plate at PFI here uh, last year as well. George, you're one of the favourites going into this weekend. How are we feeling? Yeah, obviously coming into Kart Masters, it's Kart Masters, anything can happen. Like we have like five heats, so you just got to stay calm. Stay calm is the key, isn't it? But uh, of course, let's talk a little bit about the Water Swift, because first time that they're racing here, but not the first time you've raced them, though. You've got some experience in the Water Swift, haven't you? Yeah, I've done two European races just last year at the end, and then I've done the first round of the World Qualifiers in it, so a little bit, yeah. So plenty of experience with driving the uh, the cart. So are we feeling confident with uh, either class? Is there a, a class that you're looking more favourite in, uh, i.e. Water Swift or IAMI Cadet? Yeah, obviously there's good people in both. Some more people are doing two classes, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. And of course, we're saying this is your fourth Kart Masters now. You've, you've not won it yet, but we were chatting a bit before, you know, Ben Barnico, a driver who has uh, won nine Kart Masters championships, you know, he didn't win his first one until his fourth or fifth year. So, you know, it, you know fourth time, it, Charm, are you feeling confident? Yeah, <laughs> we, we've got to try every time. You can't win it for every time, so, yeah. Yeah, well, you've got two chances to do it this year, haven't you? And uh, like I say, but they're both very, very tough grids. And again, Kart Masters, it is a very tough challenge as well. But uh, the main thing is you're looking forward to it in both classes. Yeah, it's a bit more exciting doing both because obviously you've got like two races to look forward to just instead of one. Yeah, and it's a long old weekend as well because it's not just like I say a normal karting weekend where it's two days or anything. You've got three full days of racing, and you, with the two classes as well, you've got a lot of races to do this one. How are you going to keep up with it? Yeah, well, you see, it's not too bad. There's quite there's not too big of a gap in between, so but it's still like it's not ridiculously like close. Oh, brilliant. Well, um, we'll keep a very close eye on you this weekend. Like, best of luck, and we'll see you out in Water Swift and in Miami Cadet. Thank you.